Some movies are good and well enjoyed at the time of their release, but fade fast from viewers' memory. Some movies are ever and not only good, they also make waves and have strong impacts from the time of their release onward. Nollywood movies have proved vastly in terms of quality and storyline that it is now accepted almost around the globe but only few of these recent films make such strong impact today african screen presents top five recent nollywood buster movies enjoy it me whole world is giving i'm not so free or sophia in london it's a comedy film written and directed by Kingsley Ogoro and starring African Movie Academy Award winner Inkem Owo. The film is one of Nollywood's highest selling films. It was released in 2003 and it won the African Movie Academy Award for Best Musical Score. Of Sophia London stars brilliant and British Nigerian cast including Inkem Owo as of Sophia, Mara Derwent as Samantha, Charles and Ghania has Bekwe and Cynthia Okereke as Uremma amongst others. In this movie, Ukim Owa plays Osofia who was a deer hunter living in a village with his wife and five daughters. Osofia is so lazy to the extent that killing a mere deer in the bush poses a difficult task for him. Despite his family supporting him, he owes money left, right and center as a result of this laziness and is now being pursued by his creditors. Editors. Left with no choice than to run out of town, his life takes an expected turn when his log changes and points to London. Sophia, we've been expecting you. I am not Sophia. I, I am looking for bread. Bread here. Just bread here. Oh, you have bread. You have uh, agaga bread. The figurine. Oh, emotional. Another blockbuster movie is the 2009 Nigerian thriller film written by Kemi Adesoye, produced and directed by Kunle Afolayo, who also stars in the film as one of the main characters. The cast includes Ramsey Noah, Moni Obeli, Funlola Aofi Ebi, Wale Adebayo, and many others. The film received 10 nominations and won five awards at the African Movie Academy Awards in 2010, including the awards for Best Picture, Heart of Africa, AMA Achievement in Cinematography, and AMA Achievement in Visual Effect. The plot of the movie centers on two friends who are National Youth Service Corps members. They found a mystical sculpture in an abandoned shrine in the forest and one of them decides to take the artwork home. Unknown to them, the sculpture is from the Yoruba goddess Araromire, which bestows seven years of good luck on anyone who encounters it. And after the seven years have expired, seven years of bad luck follows. The lives of the two friends begin to change for good as they become successful well the businessman however after seven years things start to change for bad the film was screened at the london african film festival new york african film festival tokyo african film festival and rotterdam international film festival jennifer oh, oh. Sulia Khan Ayetoro Khan is a popular slang from the Buster movie Jennifer. Almost everyone was touched by the Jennifer phenomenon. Even kids were not spared. The slang spread like wildfire as the movie made its way to every home in its time. It was a significant moment for both Nollywood and the producer Funke Akidele as it made major waves. Jennifer tells the story of a young village girl, Sulia, who moves to the city to enroll in the university. Sulia, played by Funke Akindele, is a local champion in a humble hometown, Ayeteru. She's the most popular babe and highly influential amongst her peers. She gains admission into the university in Lagos and moves there with great expectations. At the university, she's ridiculed for her style, her accent and mannerism. She meets a group of high-class 
Dallas girls and suddenly Zulia transforms to Jennifer. The movie was released in 2008 and starred Iyaba Iriti Osayemi, Odunlade Adekola, Eniola Badmos and many others. The movie received four nominations at the African Movie Academy Awards with while Funke Akindele won the AMA Award for Best Actress in Leading Role for her role as Jennifer. EJ. EJ is another blockbuster movie in the history of Nollywood. It was rated the highest gross selling cinema movie. It's a Nigerian American drama film written by Chinese Ayane and Samuel Tilson. It was produced and directed by Chinese Ayane and starring Genevieve Inaji, Odalis Gashia, and Omotela Jaladia Kendi. The film received several nominations and awards, including the awards for Best Editing at the Treasure Coast International. National Film Festival 2011 and Best International Student Film at the Swansea Bay Film Festival 2010. EJ will means the journey tells the story of two sisters with unbreakable bonds of loyalty and the power of human spirit. Aya, the eldest of the two sisters, played by Omotala Jalade Kennedy, vows to chase her dreams in the Hollywood Hills. A younger sister, Chilma, played by Genevieve Naji, warns her of the dark side of the American dream. Yet later, in the world away from the life she knew, Aya is charged with the mother of three men, one of them including her powerful husband. You will not go to prison for your husband's impetuousness. <sighs> Last Flight to Abuja Last Fight to Abuja is the most recent film listed in the top five blockbuster movies. It is a Nigerian thriller disaster film written by Tunde Babalola, produced and directed by Obi Emelongi, and starring Omotala Jaladia Kendi, Akim Kaikazim, Jim Haik, Jide Kosoko, Uru Eke, and many others. It was released in the cinema on the 29th of June 2012. The film, which was shot in Lagos, received five nominations at the 2013 African Movie Academy Awards and won an award for the category Best Film by an American Based Abroad. I don't like pilots. There's something arrogant about them.